Okay, this is a stainless steel battery. It's actually a secondary cell, rechargeable battery. You go down to the hardware store, grocery store, you pick up a couple of uh, stainless steel scrubbers. This is Dawn. I think it was $1.30 with tax. Stainless steel scrubbers. Wrap them up in paper towel. The electrolyte is Epsom salt, magnesium sulfate, heptahydrate in water. You can get that in the drugstore, grocery store. Lid motor. I uh, had a video on this using the uh, stainless steel and uh, what I did was I hooked it up to a jewel thief and uh, it's doing pretty good so for a home person a young person or an adult that wants to start to work with batteries at home this is a good one to work with it's interesting uh, the stainless steel here there's all grades of stainless steel this is non-magnetic so there's low nickel so presumably there's uh, redox chemistry going on with iron and chromium. And uh, I charged it up with a uh, uh, battery charger where I had uh, four uh, double A's. So what are we kicking out? About six volts or so. Charged it up for uh, about 10, 15 minutes. It's interesting. So with the Jewel Thief, you can light up this uh, white LED with uh, nowhere near the maximum three volts. So the Jewel Thief can probably light this white LED with as little as, as 0 0.5 volts. And uh, on YouTube, you'll find many, many, many ways to easily make a Jewel Thief. And there's a man in Greece uh, he's in uh, Thessalonia, and if you check the electronics section of eBay, he's selling them for uh, just a couple of bucks each. You get, I got two of them, and I wanted to see if they would work before making some of my own, and sure enough, it does. So you can uh, pick them up for a nominal cost, and that way you can see work done with a small uh, battery like this at home. This can be modified. It'll be interesting to study its properties, self-discharge, um, the current that can be drawn. Let's take a look. So we'll, what we'll do, I'll disconnect this, and we'll check with the multimeter and see what we're doing here. So you can see already we got the Jewel Thief lit. Now, let's get our multi multimeter. We got it set for volts. Let's see what we got here. So. I think this is my uh, cathode and this is my anode. Let's see. Sure. 1.15 volts. 1.16. That is, it's really interesting. Very easy to prepare. And, uh, you know, I'm, in, I'm a chemistry professor in Western Pennsylvania. So what I will, I'm interested in the uh, uh, electrolyte composition. I'm going to try some gel electrolytes. I'm doing this in tap water, good old-fashioned Lake Erie uh, tap water, right out of the faucet. It went up to 1.18. Let's, let's do a short circuit. That's open voltage. So let's, uh, let's do a short circuit. And we're peaked, uh, at, we were at 80 milliamps. Really interesting. So you see with that low voltage, we were getting this LED lit with the Jewel Thief. Interesting. And it does seem to be uh, rechargeable. Give it about five volts, 10, 15 minutes. Let's see here, voltage is going, trying to make its way back up there. Look at that. This is a very, very interesting, very simple cell. Uh, a good one to start with if you're interested in uh, secondary batteries, secondary cells, what we call. And uh, that is pretty good. Very interesting.
Very interesting. And it's good for work at home when, you know, stay away from lead. And Very interesting. So we'll try, uh, of course, very large surface area here. But worthy of study, for sure. And uh, Lid Motor was the first to have mentioned this on uh, YouTube. Thanks for watching. I'll, keep, I'll, I'll upload some modifications that we're going to make. Let's uh, sign off by showing you there's the voltage climbing back up 0.91. Thanks for watching. Bye.